Welcome back to Honkai Star Rail, folks. Uh, we are carrying on um, this game, right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, what we have got. So we finished the Trailblaze Continuance missions uh, last episode. So in this one, um, I shall just be... Check me this, hold on. Okay. Uh, yep. Time to go... Uh, Saga of Primeval. Primeval bra Blade. Bleh. English. Gotta get down there. I don't know what that was trying to tell me, but I don't really care either. Is that the... is it? No. Oh, it's Scott! God damn it, Scott. Go fuck yourself. Hey, this is not how it's supposed to be, right? The Sienjo is known for its tea culture and hospitality, but you're not treating me like a guest at all. Seriously, am I not a guest? Scott, shut your ass up, you stupid bitch. Dear guest. Dear guest. Ah, don't call me a guest. You're not even treating me as one. I want my tea just right. Not too hot, not too cold, but the tea you serve was either freezing or scalding. Is this how you treat your guest on the Sienjo? Scott, stop, stop being a picky bitch. Your tea tastes like slop, and you even have the nerve to charge me for it. Are you trying to scam honest folks? You're a dick. And that name, the Sleepless Earl. It's so hard to remember. How about we give you a new plaque that says Sienjo Slop? It suits the place <laughs> better. <laughs> Scott, shut your ass up, motherfucker. Why am I here? <laughs> Man, I'm gonna hero. beat the shit out of you. It's me, my seventh. <laughs> and I'll show you who your mommy is. <laughs> what the hell? Uh. That's right. I'm the sword champion. Never heard of you. Now scurry back to wherever you crawled out from. Cool. Scott. I'm Yen Ching, a Clout Knight Lieutenant. We've met before, and I suggest you stop causing trouble. Trouble? Ha! I'm just giving some feedback. I'm just giving a feedback, baby, baby! The tea here is terrible. The tea here fucking sucks. You want to stop me from complaining about it? At this rate, who would want to ever come here for tea in the future? Any, every single person but you. A regular customer? You? <laughs> yeah, what else would I be? The Sienjo's prisoner? Yeah, pretty much, actually, yeah. Anyway, if you're trying to bully this young lady, you'd better watch out for the weapon in my hand. <laughs> huh? Oh. She might look young. I don't think she's actually that young, though. Me. Come on. You're not seriously trying to take my life with that piece of uh, scrap metal, are you? Scrap metal? This is my sword! Shit, don't I fucking tell him that. Sword play? Oh, I get it now. It's just another kind of. Please say, you're dressed like you're in a show. You're dressed like you're in a show. You're not even from the CN Joe. So why bother learning their sword play? If you're feeling unsafe, I can sell you an IPC map. No, shut the fuck up. We don't need a fucking IP IPC map. If anyone mech. wants your junkyard scrap mechs. Oh, how marvelous! How about you oh, show me then? Well, guess it's time to show these bumpkins something serious. A few IPC mechs respond in a pain in the sleepless hill, and more and more Zian Joe passes by a stop to watch. Just a reminder, IPC members, street fighting on the Zian Joe Lafu is prohibited. <laughs> Make any funny moves, and I'll smash that scrap metal. 
Hey, hey, relax. I know the rules. These are my subordinates. They got stuck here because of the transport ship incident, and they need to vent their frustration. In the end, it's all the Sienjo's fault. Alright, so you're fucking fault, you can. I can overlook the terrible tea, but now that you're questioning my security, I can't let it slide. After all, I have a courier business to run. With so many clients watching, that just wouldn't look too good now, would it? Instead of uh, wasting your life learning useless swordplay, why not invest in our civilian mechs? Hmm? You'll have your master kneeling and begging for mercy in no time. Stop! Don't you dare insult Sienjo's swordplay like that! If you have the guts, Matt, I'll stop you fucking provoking them! You. Huh? A fight, you say? <laughs> now that you've thrown down the gauntlet March 7th, I feel I'm obliged to accept your challenge. God damn it, March. But once you see what our mechs can do, you'll be practically begging us for them. We've beaten the crap out of them so many times. Oh, come on. How could I say no to a bet? So, I can see you're no master yet, March. But I'll play fair. You go back and learn swordplay from your teachers here, and in 15 days, I'll come find you and challenge you with my mechs. Only 15 days? All right, fine. And if you lose, you'll have to bark like a dog in public. <laughs> oh my god, he's he's being a pervert again. I don't like this guy. You'll stand at the entrance of our room alley and say it to everyone passing by. Oh, and if that's the case, just forget about your master and become my apprentice instead. I'll teach you how to pilot a mech. Fuck you. I'm going to beat the crap out of you. And if I win... I'll become your apprentice? Nah, I don't think so. I don't like you. Okay, how about this? If I lose, I'll squeal like a pig in public and say, IPC mechs are a total joke! And I'll even print that on every mech on the transport ship. Deal? So he just changed barking into squealing, and that's supposed to be a different story? That's a 7-4. I mean, we could beat up. Fine, fine. I get it. But you've got to actually beat me with that little scrap of metal first. You all heard it, right? We'll meet again in 15 days. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> Jeez, this guy's crazy laughter, bro. Ming Ming. Are you okay? Oh, yes. Thank you all for your timely help. The shop facing a bit of flat from visitors is a minor issue, but Miss March's decisions to challenge him is serious. <sighs> oh, I feel responsible as if the shop has inconvenienced you. Uh, don't worry. I can't stand by and watch someone be bullied. Yeah. I have to stand up against injustice, no matter what. <sighs> Not only do you speak like a hero from an immersia, but you also have a kind heart. Your charisma has completely won me over, Miss March. <laughs> I'm not quite a hero. Yet. Oh, I know you're here for the tea ceremony. Please, come inside. Uh, thanks for the invitation, but right now, I just want to focus on practicing swordplay. Masters, let's save the tea for later. Sure, the tea can wait for now. However... I have a question, Miss March. How confident are you about the bet you just made? Come on, how could I possibly lose? Uh. <laughs> uh. You're right. It, it seems she really hasn't considered anything. I don't see any issue with it. Let March give it a shot. As long as she trains diligently, I believe she can easily deal with that hunk of IPC scrap metal. As long as she trains diligently. Yeah. I'm now filled with determination, Masters. I'll learn swordplay well. Master. <laughs> <laughs> You're my most trusted friend. You'll be my assistant teacher and make sure I learn swordplay properly. If 
If I can't learn swordplay well, I'll have no one to blame but myself. Masters, Miss Teaching Assistant, let's Masters, go back and Miss start the now. Sure. Go to the Palace of Ashram's backyard and how much seventh in his sword page. Any chests around here? No, no chests that I haven't gotten yet. This could go that way. I can't go that way yet. Haha. <laughs> Let's go. That's a practice dummy. Hold on a moment. Are there any more chests around here? <laughs> Seek, and you will find. Gotta get all the chests. Can't miss a single one. Not a single, not a single stone unturned. <laughs> Think you get away with your crime by pretending? Don't forget to let your friends in on the action. Huh. This place is so I missed warm. the dog guys. Like I'm back furnace. here. I'm surprised I missed that one earlier. <laughs> but nice, that's all the chests I have. Back to stummy. That IPC guy will show up in 15 days. I've got to become a sword master by then. Becoming a sword master in a mere 15 days is quite challenging. But we can't lose our momentum, Master Yun Li. Momentum alone master. <laughs> will only keep you going for about three days. If you really want to stick with it, you need a solid plan. No worries. I found my professional teaching assistant to help me organize the lessons, so there won't be any problems. Rest assured, masters. If not in me, at least place your faith in her. My trusty, my side. trusty sidekick. Miss <laughs> March is really passionate about learning swordplay, and now she has a clear goal in mind. That's a good thing for her. There are many ways to defeat villains. But if you want to become a true hero, you have to focus on self-improvement. I hope you will always remember this, Miss March. Got it. Fucking self-improvement, yeah. into my memory. Uh, since you've got that in mind, it's time for me to set some targets for you. Please, go ahead, Master Yun Li. We'll have three exams during these 15 days. If you pass our tests, those pieces of IPC scrap won't stand you. You're gonna chance. fucking die. But... If you fail, <laughs> that would mean Yun Li is a terrible teacher. And if that's the case, I hope you won't force yourself to take on the challenge, Miss March. Hey, you are the terrible teacher here. I understand. <laughs> In the Immersia, the disciple and the master share both honor and disgrace. If the apprentice fails, the master loses face too. Well, there aren't that many customs on the Sienjo. I'm just worried about you getting hurt. But as long as you practice diligently and pass the tests, we'll feel confident about your duel. Now, let's go back to the first question I asked you. I'm sure you found a reason to wield your sword, right, Miss March? Absolutely! I wield my sword to become a hero! I want to fight for justice, punish the wicked, and make them quiver in fear and run away when they see me! Then keep that fire burning, and learn with all your heart. All your heart. You haven't said much, Miss Teaching Assistant. Miss Teaching Any Assistant. Any suggestions before we officially start training? Hmm. What twists? Like the ones in those Swordmaster novels? <laughs> Wonder what kind of unexpected twists I'll encounter. It'd 
be pretty awesome if that actually happened. Oh, that's enough chit chat for now. Uh, don't forget to keep an eye on my swordplay practice. I mean, what do I use? I use a freaking baseball bat. <laughs> I'll pass the first sword trail. Play sword play sessions. Days until sword trail four. As the sword play assistant, you will be arranging March seventh sword play sessions and helping her with mastering sword moves to prepare her to defeat Scott in fifteen days. As March, the key to mastering the sword lies in understanding various sword moves. Cut the fluff, let March get hands on and learn a few sword moves directly. Sword play is the very essence of all sword moves and can unleash immense power in combat. Let's start by getting a tiny goal and learn the sword move cutting cold. Sorry, my bad. Let this set this sword play as your learning goal, and you can check the required stats for mastering it here. You can boost your stats by setting up targeted training sessions. Practice exactly what you need to improve. Do I need for that? Sword Art Ascension 2. Hmm. Other the same, we'll just start the sessions here. We may leads to Wu Wang. Wu Wang leads to Tong Rin. <laughs> Tong Rin leads to Dai. You keep muttering those words, do you even know what they mean? Absolutely not! If it only swung at five at five times to beat, one must not lose vigor, master. Watch, hang in there. Woof. It's only two D things. Let's nice work. I'll add one more for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, dude, doing the D things again. You're holding nothing at all. Woof. <laughs> what was that just now? It's me, woof. You're lying. <laughs> Strength is going down pretty high. Days until sword trial. Training will consume a mood. Memory isn't good. Efficiency will also decrease. Balancing work. Hit, click here to schedule an excursion. Oh, I see. Yeah. So play sessions can take up a lot of time, but it speed up the of time. It was tales of sword wielding heroes or historical epics, March 7th listened with great interest, sharing from time to time with greatly encouraged Mr. Xi'an, who without realizing it talks until nightfall, his voice growing hoarse. Xi'an just cannot resist being praised. This is amazing, Mr. Xi'an, one more! Or dart anecdote. A day spent all training is always full of interesting stories. A martial challenge has been sent to the Palace of Ashram's rear garden. March 7th's daily sword training has gained, garnered the attention of the Lafu Folk Swordsmanship Associated Association. Self named, they will dispatch their prize student to challenge the rising martial star March 7th. The local association has no class at all. Uni gets marched to make the utmost preparations. The eve of the duel, March 7th decides. What do you recommend? Be. Hmm. 
Uh, I was still training one time. Mm -hmm. So you weren't really serious about your training before this? Nice, up strength of nine, strength of nine, nasty as well, nasty 18. I learned so much today. This training result, nice. Oh boy. Need at least two of those, and nasty training, then another excursion right the day right before. This is uh, this thingy, assessment thing here. Sort of anecdote, uh, full interesting story is nice. Okay. The entering straight to Cloud Knight's office's combat record from the seat of Divine Foresight. Observing a seasoned Cloud Knight's spontaneous insight is great help to sword practice. Using the butterfly measure, much seventh can feel as if she's personally in the Wardance arena. Countless blades are bra blade brass piles within the of flesh, truly intense and thrilling, and Ching asks March 7th what she's feeling. Cool, like playing a game. So scary, I'm better off just watching a video next time. I'll do the tenacity one. Huh? I heard from her that you've experienced, okay. Yeah, nice tenacity up on as well, and then, yep, yeah, nice oh, that. Today's training today. result, nice, Hi. perfect. So there it is, it's a sword trial. Today? You'll face your first test. It's all about the basics. Oh, I know. It's float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, right? Uh, that's boxing, but close enough, I guess. Grasping the basics is crucial to mastering swordplay, Miss March. Focus on wielding your sword properly, making your thrust swift and strikes brisk. <laughs> and parries should be fluid and nimble. See? Even March is getting bored of your rambling. Uh, uh, but I'm actually not bored at all. Miss March is still a novice, so I'm giving her some tips on... But I'm not bored at all, you don't need to keep lying, March. Neglecting the basics will only make you vulnerable in a fight. Even for an extraordinary sword master like you, Yun Li. Uh, just focus on your teaching. Why bring me into this? What? Didn't General Hoi An offer you any guidance? <laughs> Looks like your general hasn't told you to stop hopping around like a sparrow in a fight, huh? Save the same level. Learning the basics of swordplay, and now it's time to put her knowledge to the test. Unsheath your swords and show me what you've got, March. Ah, oh boy. The sword trial must be completed by March 7th alone. The entire battle will proceed automatically and no assistance from teammates is allowed. Oh boy. The higher March 7th sword ascension ranks, the easier it will be to pass the trial. Successfully completing the trial when the heart is stats and to restore her mood. The test is coming up. Let's see how prepared you are. Oh crap. There is no rest before the trial. Let me show my moves a little bit more. Okay, cool. Sword master. Another new move under my belt. I gotta find time to try it out. Okay, and I can also do that as well. A little bit of extra health, but that's all I can do right now. Time to start the sword trial. A little worried about how this will go. Because I actually have no idea how this is going to go. Okay, so it is. Oh, it's an auto battle. Not very sportsman -like. Oh, the owner strap died. <laughs> I'm just straight up dead. Wait, I might actually win this one. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Whoa, you took that one? Hold on. Hold on a minute. Nice. She won. Without even getting down to half health. Smash, keep practicing, and you'll become a true sword master. Nice. Enhanced stats. 
Uh, and Bible Lune. That hangs true form from his video and lineage. Carries the residual power left behind for his past well, reincarnation. Test, right? <laughs> yeah. Well done. You passed with flying colors. <laughs> Great. Hey, uh, hurry up and congratulate me. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without my masters and you, Miss Teaching Assistant. Miss Teaching Assistant? So if I were to take on that IPC guy now, what would you say are my chances? You already have a martial arts background and plenty of real combat experience. But with swordplay guidance from me and Yun Lee, if you were to challenge the IPC's security mechs now, I believe... You wouldn't stand a chance. Yun Lee's... Right. No chance? No, but hey, we've beaten them before. Practice? Come on, Marge. I'm the kind of girl who performs better when I'm showered with praise, just so you know. Wait, are you saying my sword play still isn't good enough? <laughs> I thought teaching March was just something of a hobby, but now, actually seeing her progress gives me a sense of accomplishment. Oh really? So now you finally acknowledge her talent, Master Yun Li? Don't worry, Miss March. I've been serious about teaching you from the start. Uh, don't try to cause a rift between us. <laughs> Every move and technique I taught March is straight from the Juming Art of Swordplay. Fifteen days of training is short, Miss March. Whether you pass or fail this test, I hope you'll continue with the basics, because that's your best shot at winning. After every test, the General would take me to the Artisanship Commission for sword maintenance. Let's go, Miss March. Today, I'll follow the General's example as a way of acknowledging your progress. Oh, thank you, Master Yen Ching. Moments later, in a dark corner of the Law Fu. Skull. So, have you found any information about her? Yeah, that girl is one of the nameless on the Astral Express. Oh, she's no pushover. Don't you think this bet's a bit too risky? Yeah, it is. So what? Have you seen those big shots in the Strategic Investment Department? ID. Do they ever make safe bets? She thinks she can fool me by flying under the radar? You there, get me the most powerful mech we've got. Uh, understood. Checking the inventory now. Now I'm curious to see what this 15-day crash course apprentice is really capable of. I see. Oh, you know. Let's see some sword trial plans. Hold play lessons. Days until sword trial. Alright, so let's go. What's a sword move? This one. I need strength. Higher strength as well. March 7th attack and ignore a certain amount of enemy defense. So, I would like this one. So I'm going to focus on tenacity. And then maybe throw in one strength, I'd say. Let's do this. Yeah, tenacity. Nice. Nice. And nice. Okay. Good. Wonder what I'll run into today. I should have first about how to improve so with encounter from the figure because this good location. Oh, ho, ho. time to see you. Trailblazer room is March seventh. Long time, long time. Still put a busy busting ghosts recently. I haven't seen the position March seventh. Ah, ah, hang there, Miss March. We're gonna tell us from now right now. Don't worry, I'm not a zish. You're just pulling your leg. <laughs> well, what are you doing here? I'm taking a break to Tarsif Cave and just watching this task of said one by one. It's really relaxing. Ten was commission judge is really is pretty stressful too, I bet. Two? Have you run into something that's been weighing heavily on your mind this March 7th? Started picking up the energy of sword place so and there's been some academic stress and social stress. You elaborate on the matter of the upcoming duel between March 7th and that IPC busybody. I think I get the gist of it. It's not easy trying to master a school's sword play in such a short time. I wonder, Miss March 7th is stressed out. I know some evil warning sword players, so if you need some help. Huh, you can't even hold your sword steady. Don't you think you're overestimating your skills? Sh sure, I can't hold it steady, but I'm better than you. You don't even have hands. 
Oh, the timid fry has got a sharp tongue. If you were in the war dance ring and I possessed you, you'd have to try really hard to loose that brat from the seat of divine foresight. Master Yan Ching is rather powerful. You sure you aren't just blowing as blowing smoke, Mr. Tail? <laughs> as long as I possess some someone of extraordinary caliber and absorb that person's memories and emotions, I can master the exact same technique. Is that the fastest way to do it if you want to learn that brat's swordplay? No, 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 I won't undo the seal. Tsk, tsk, I guess your desire to help your friends is only worth this much, eh? It's looking out for me. I wonder what you think this is about the shortcut. Uh, borrow a save file. S save file? We put it that way, it does sound like asking to borrow a hardcore player's save file. Once Mr. Tail leaves, I'd still be left empty handed. You really think it's a bad idea, right, Miss March? Bah! And here I was trying to be nice. If you wanted it, I wouldn't help you now. Ah, Madam Hanya just sent over a zombie case. So break time's over. We'll talk again, Miss March. Catch you later. Zombie case? Hwahua scales off in a hurry. Zombie case? I'm coming to some thought. I think there's something to be gleaned from Mr. Tail's suggestion. I see Hwahua again. I should ask for advice from both her and Mr. Tail. Uh, Hwahua will provide two assist effects every day. Fun. I like that. During sword training, March 7th can receive assistance from companions, enhancing the efficiency of her training and excursions. Starting today, I too will help Miss March with her sword training. Please choose the assist effect. Increase the strength training of this That one. Training excursion activities. Jeez, I'm exhausted. Uh, I think today should be a rest day. Let's go these here. Let's change this down. Oh, okay. Interesting stories. March 7th has invited Hwahua to patrol Fictional Garden together. As they're walking, walking, Hwahua suddenly disappears. March 7th decides to return to the pavilion of a cessation immediately. Because there are spirit fairs here. The quieter the place, the more oh, likely one will hear strange noises. This? March 7th picks up her ears intently. Is calling for her. I don't need mood. So I'll just go acuity 15, I believe. <laughs> That's today's training results. Nice. Um, let's see. It's likely to assist you on a Huawei provide you today. The Ammonic Charm increases the next training's efficiency after performing an excursion by 100%. Portable Lenumbra Gourd increases mood consumption by 200% and efficiency by 400% in training for the first time. Take that one, I think. Um, go strength training. We'll go excursion. Then we'll go dexterity. Uh, not dexterity, tenacity, tenacity. There we go. Do those. Give me strength up 60. Oh, up 18, nice. Some good stuff there. It really, it's also been pretty nice. The risk played March 7th gave up on letting the Heliobus absorb motions in exchange for sword skills. Just then, while I was leaving because of a certain zombie related case. This is March 7th, too. Oh, why do you look so dazed? We found two zombies near Fictional Garden recently. Well, zombie might not be the right word. The victims had no Heliobus traces on them, nor obvious external injuries. They kept repeating some strange behavior. How interesting. Uh, Miss March 7th, please don't patronize me. So your side effect would be scared silly. It's entirely possible, but have I ever acted so strangely? You run super fast, this matter's probably not that simple. Just like when you and Trailblazer formed the Ghost Hunting Squad, let's, anal let's analyze this together. Next up, let's have a resident expert Whopper introduce the case. Okay, okay, someone might click it if we put our great if we click if we put our brains together. First victim is a war dance combat registrant. Their muscles were rigid when they were discovered, their arms were stretched out in front of them, and were muttering all sorts of exercise rhymes. Second victim is also a war dance combat registrant. He's a former cloud knight proficient at the spear, who was discovered practicing pole vaulting with a spear. I see. Hmm, victims have something in common. They're both war dance contestants. It appears the culprit is expressly choosing war dance contestants as their targets. 
So I'll be the next target then? You should give the analysis a rest first and let us finish talking. Besides the fact that they were participants, they also had a similar characteristic. They were fools who had fixed for garden to poke around after reading the messages on the love whose ghostly grove. These victims believed their fictional garden's vengeful gloom would temper their skills and started to train here before the matches started. Some attempt to harness the worldly energy is absorbed here. People still believe this mumbo jumbo in this day and age. Question mark. Finally, these two were shooed home by the Ten Laws Commission. Spirit Fair on duty, Uncle GU. They started acting funny the following day. He's a member of our staff. I think I've seen a, familiar, a similar story in the Zenjo and Major. Does Uncle G have two disciples and one of them got bitten by a zombie and the other got charmed by a female ghost? Uncle G has no disciples. Get down here, Major Addiction, and touch some grass! Oh! <laughs> the march, how does it feel? You just got told to touch grass by tail. If you want to join the war dance, you must be careful. Don't forget to contact me if anything happens. Good luck, Wafwa. Hope you can catch the whole culprit and close the case soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wafwa scuttles off in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. That Heliobus targets war dance contenders on purpose, but you, how about we try our luck at Festival Garden when we've got time, we might be able to help Wahwa. Sure, why not? But not today. The Night Paranormal Hunt is now available in an excursion. Cool. Like, uh, okay, we'll use... So sword move. Can now do this one. Another step closer to star crazing glass great sword. Dexterity. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that is going to be the uh, end of this video. I'm gonna work on dexterity and um, acuity next. But anyway, that's gonna be the uh, end of this one. Exit and save current training progress. Uh, save and exit, yeah. Alright, now that's gonna be the end and I hope you enjoyed this video. The title is gonna be something like Tale Tales March 7th to Touch Grass, but anyways, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.